Right, this builds on a presentation I gave some years ago for actually making the walls that we currently use. Okay? So um, it's the experience of that and extended a bit to make them a bit easier. So you go to B&Q and you talk nicely to the man with the, um, the board cutter and uh, possibly slip him a fiver and he will cut you an entire 12 millimeter board into 50 millimeter wide strips. Right? It's not going to take him very long. You might get him to cut two or three thicknesses once he's been doing it for a while. You then take them home, cut them into lengths that you can actually manage and then what you need to do is clamp them so you can paint all the tops in one go, slap the primer on, slap the red top on, uh, when it's all dry, dismantle it, break them apart and you've then got blanks that you can cut out with a a chop saw or a sliding miter saw or whatever you've got, I'll pass that around so everybody can see it. Right? So that's given you the right size pieces. The only problem you've got now is you want to make the sides white and you want some means of slotting them into the posts. Okay, now what I did back then was a complicated arrangement where I used a slitting saw to put a slot in the end and um, cut pieces of acrylic that would, were glued into the slots. Setting that up took a long time and it was a lot of hassle. So, the new version, I used my laser to make some jigs for, um, for putting prongs in the end. So instead of having one continuous piece that goes into the slot, there's just two prongs that slide down the slot. Um, yeah, start passing that one around. Okay. But of course, if you just use nails and hammer them in, um, the MDF splits, and uh, you've got to get them accurately in the right place and things like that. So you really want pilot holes before you bang a nail in. So this is the drilling jig. You'll see these are M4 screws, countersunk screws that I put in the lathe and drilled a one and a half millimetre hole um, through them. So that that can then go on the end of the piece of wall and you can drill two holes that are ac accurately located and in fact this can act as a depth stop as well. So you put in two holes that just work and that's that jig. Uh, what have we got next? Got a nailing jig. When you nail them in, holding the nails is a bit of a pain because you tend to end up hammering your finger. If you use this m method, so you sort of poke the end in so it's started. You've got a pilot hole so that goes in. You put that over it and you hammer it down until it's just proud of that. Hmm? This helps hold it vertical and that gives you a position to stop. It's not rocket science on the laser cutter. <laughs> um, so now you've got your two, two nails in the right place, something like that. But they've got these features on the end that we want to get rid of and we want to cut them to a, a consistent length. So the next jig is that, which is a millimetre thick. And you just, nice big heavy pair of side cutters, you cut them off. Okay. Um, and you end up with something like that and that's it compared to a post and that's good enough. And um, the side walls, you can paint them if you're a real uh, masochist, but I think it was Pete a long time ago came with the vinyl white paper stuff, sticky black plastic, and that's much the easiest, quickest way of doing it. You just stick them down and trim around them with a scalpel. Um, I have here these are leftovers from when I built the maze. 
I'd really rather not take them home, so please help yourself to walls. They haven't got posts in, but uh, apart from, and they haven't got the vinyl on the sides, but apart from that, they're complete. Um, right, we're short of time. Any questions on that? Um, the, only, the only bit that I would find, I think, difficult to do is drilling that hole down the middle of the uh, bolt. Um, you know, not having a lathe. Oh, well, you don't. You ask somebody who's got a lathe to make one. <laughs> 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 yeah. I was just wondering, maybe you could get a, a tube with the right side in, and it might be easier to tap a thread or, around the outside of it. I don't know. But that's, that's the bit I couldn't do. I'm happy to I not... certainly do the rest of it. I'm happy to leave that set of jigs with whoever wants to go ahead and use them. I'm happy for them to be spread around. It's not going to take me long to make another set any time I need them. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got to remember, I've already got a maze with enough walls. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a problem, I haven't. Uh, yeah. um, oh, well, I've got a maze with enough walls, but, yeah, they're, but they're nothing but, like these walls. Yeah. Um, but, but yes, um, yeah, no, that's, that's out of all of that, that's the only bit I think yeah. that I couldn't manufacture. Yeah. But don't get me on the question, probably drill some more screws out. And I'd, yeah, if yeah. Else it will, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Probably I mean, it, it really doesn't take long. Mm. Yeah. The, yeah. So that's a silly question. Why, do you, why did you remove the heads off the nails? Why couldn't you use that to help hold them in place? Um, you really want parallel sides on the bit that goes into the post if you can. It's, I mean, yeah. yeah. And also the nails I used, the heads are a bit too big. Mm -hmm. the, the heads on nails are not very accurate. They're not consistent. They be all no. over the place. Yeah. But I mean, if you're half a millimetre out, do. that just means that the wall is half a millimetre closer or further away yeah. from you, which well, is within tolerance. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your post made out of? Where are you going to right, posts. I'll hand round some posts. I have three posts here. This one is what we're using at the moment, which is uh, filament printed um, by Bernard in two pieces on the diagonal and then glued together and then fettled and messed around with and it's a lot of work. That one is straight off my resin printer in ABS like resin. It takes three and a half hours to do one but I could probably also do about 30 in three and a half hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this was a cost reduced one where I thought I don't need resin in the middle of the prong and up the sides and so on. I'll do a design that's got holes there. Then you find that you can't get the resin out. Well, you, yeah, you always have to leave a couple of holes to get the resin Yeah, out. but these holes aren't big enough to get the resin out. <laughs> So you haven't saved any resin, so yeah. there's no point and doing it. And it's not only that, it's a lot worse than that, because the resin slowly dissolves the rest of the part, and eventually you'll, you'll end up with a big part of resin coming out of it. So okay. you've got to get the resin out, or it's solid. Yeah. So I'll pass this <coughs> round, because I'm happy for you to try and break this one. <laughs> <laughs> so what was that? Sorry, I missed it. Was that hollow? I, I tried it with, with holes in it the idea of reducing the amount of resin I used. Right. It's fine, but it comes off the printer with the holes full of resin, yeah. and you can't get the resin out without destroying the resin to use later. Yeah. Right? So it's really a pointless exercise. Yeah. But, um, so how did you put the hole? Oh, they're just designed into the CAD. Right, yeah. I mean, I'm wondering why you didn't put a hole at that end. You're not allowed to have a hole at that end, it's, uh, you know. Check at the, top. The, the top, you can't yeah, have a lot of them have a hole in yeah. yeah. You shouldn't have a hole in there. If you've got a da if you've got a mouse that looks down on the top of yeah. the post, yeah, I, I, you I really agree. don't want a hole well, there. Well, mazes are you know, we've been with quite often do have a hole there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right the way through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but I wonder where um, Yes, you're right. You need a hole at both ends. That's why to you get the resin out. That's why yeah. you can't get yeah. the resin out. Right. Yeah. So I don't want to do that. So you'll and have the solid one. Red label stick on top of it. Yeah. yeah, there ought to be a red label or a bit of paint or something stuck yeah. on top. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. But a bit no, of red sticking up the hole. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I use um, for for my one for the tops. You obviously you don't have to do the tops, especially if you're at home. But I use a a, um, a stamp pad. 
Yeah. No, 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 no. I just get get the walls and go, and it's got ink all well, over the top, yeah. and and the half done. size it is red sharp. It's yeah. brilliant. Even on yeah. PLA, which is obviously somewhat. Mm. Yeah. It's just yeah. It's like. Yeah. I couldn't believe how good it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess the question might be is how small the hole can you get away with? Yeah. Well, the, the, yeah. Probably mm. very small, especially if you've got oh, yeah. some pressure or something like that. Um, but that compressor just or something. Like, just to reduce the amount of resin. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's only to save a little bit of money. It's not worth the hassle. I, don't, honest. I, don't, I mean, I printed mine solid. Where did you print your solid? Mm. Mm. No, mine, mine's not solid. Mm. Your, your post is mm. solid. Post, the post is not solid. No. Mm. Uh, I've only got those, but you can. You can yeah. yeah, I've got to send you some gears just, anyway, haven't I? Yeah. I've just had a thought. You do it here. Yeah. Why don't we have a resin in the capsule? Cost? They're, they're not cheap and they're, they turn out to be a pain in the bum to put what, them in place. Oh, the resin <laughs> end caps? Yeah, I, I, well, I 3D printed some end caps to put on the walls. Yeah. yeah. It was just a, it was a nuisance to the right. Super glue and then you glue your fingers to them. Oh, it's put on top of the walls. No, it's not. Where they joined. End, Bernard end did this, didn't you? Oh, right, that's it. Instead of the nails, they put the shapes. Didn't you there, make yeah. some end pieces for the walls to yes. go into the slots? Yeah. I didn't so, bring that in. Yeah, but Bernard's got experience of it. Oh, I had uh, ten slots of drilling bits just as way to the box at the front there, and uh, yeah. I shortened them by two millimeters on a disc sander, and then I did three D printed um, plastic end pieces, yeah. um, so that the wall looks like a a, a bought wall. Yeah, I, I covered the um, MDF with vinyl. How did you attach the end caps? Uh, I, I, the end caps were attached with grab adhesive. Right. I've just done my skirting and I had some left. <laughs> <laughs> it, did it um, yeah. I haven't knocked one off yet. Right. That's all I can say. It would be fine on the MDF. I don't know how well it, it holds on the plastic side. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, that, that, okay. that is good. That feels yeah. really solid. Mm. So we do have problems with this, but it's mainly, I think it comes from the, the maze being on the floor and then people walk over it and they just touch it slightly and it just goes um, off very, very easily. That let's, snaps let's off. Let's commission a few for the next contest and see how it lasts. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it, this is lovely. You know, it's it, beautifully printed. It, it, it's it beautiful compared to the ABS yeah. one, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, that's it. That's my proposal for making walls. Um, I'll carry on. Yeah. <laughs>